Now we will show you how to use an oxygen microsensor for your measurements. Before you can start your measurements, you have to calibrate the microsensor. Calibration of microsensors is performed using a conventional two point calibration in oxygen free water and air saturated water. Fill a suitable vessel with water and blow air into it using an air pump and air stone. This way you get air saturated water for calibration standard 100. For oxygen free water dissolve 1 gram of sodium sulfide and 15 microliter cobalt nitrate solution in 100 milliliter water. Make sure there is only little headspace in your vessel. Close the vessel and shake it for approximately one minute to dissolve the sodium sulfide and ensure the water is oxygen free. After 20 minutes you can turn off the air pump in the calibration standard 100 and steer the solution for another 10 minutes to ensure that the water is not super saturated. Here you can see a needle type oxygen microsensor. It is housed in a stainless syringe needle of 0.4 mm diameter. Remove the transport block from the plastic syringe housing and the protective cap from the needle. Fix the microsensor with a clip to a laboratory support or a similar stable construction. Place the calibration standard zero underneath the microsensor. Insert the temperature sensor in the calibration standard zero. Slowly press the syringe plunger and extend the sensor tip from the needle. Carefully locate the syringe needle above the water surface so only the sensor tip is dipped in the liquid. Wait for about 3 minutes until phase and temperature value have stabilized and press the store current value button at the first point. A warning message is displayed. Hit continue. Whenever the microsensor had been inserted into sodium sulfide solution, clean it with distilled water to avoid salt crystallization within the syringe needle. You can also clean the temperature sensor. Now you have to record the second calibration value in air saturated water. Place the calibration standard 100 below the microsensor. Insert the temperature sensor in the calibration standard 100. Carefully locate the syringe needle above the water surface so only the sensor tip is dipped in the liquid. Again wait for about 3 minutes until phase and temperature value have stabilized and press the store current value button at the second point. A warning message is displayed. Hit continue. Confirm the calibration values by clicking the finish button. The calibration with temperature compensation is completed. Now you are ready to perform your measurements. One application is oxygen measurement in blisters. Septa are attached to the blister to prevent atmospheric oxygen entering the packaging. Take your needle type oxygen microsensor, remove the protective cap at the end of the polymer optical fiber and attach it to the connector on the front panel of the Microx TX3. The ST plug has to be inserted and slightly turned clockwise to fasten it. Take out the transport block from the plastic syringe housing, then carefully remove the protective cap from the needle. Make sure to hold the plastic base of the needle so it does not come off when removing the cap. Now measurements in the blisters can be started. Make sure the sensor tip is not extended. The syringe needle is pierced through the septum and the needle tip should be placed between the content and the packaging wall. Then carefully extend the sensor tip. Wait until the oxygen value stabilizes. Then you have to retract the sensor tip before you remove the microsensor from the blister chamber and insert it in the next one. Here you can see the graph of oxygen measurement in a blister. 
You can see the oxygen values inside the blister chambers and the peaks in between when the sensor is transferred to the next blister chamber and exposed to air. To measure the oxygen content in headspace of packaging, you have to put a septum on the outer surface. Now you can pierce the septum with the syringe needle. Make sure the sensor tip is not extended while inserting the needle. When you have pierced the packaging wall, you can carefully extend the sensor tip. Retract the sensor tip before you remove the needle. You can use an oxygen microsensor with a fixed sensor tip for measurement in animal or plant tissue. Here the fiber with the sensor tip can only be extended so it barely protrudes from the cannula and is protected by the needle tip. Septa have to be used if the tissue is very solid and the syringe needle might tear a channel through which atmospheric oxygen might penetrate to the sensor.